Howdy, I'm Dr. Mark Ferris, and we are here to separate lifestyle medicine fact from fiction. You might have seen several online sources that warn you about ruining your metabolism and weight control efforts. How? Simply because you've been drinking water that's room temperature. Their answer? Switch to cold water to quote-unquote ignite your body's fat-burning furnace. But is this fact or fiction? One of these online reports was titled 10 Diet Mistakes That Slow Metabolism. The article cites some research that reads as follows. German researchers found that drinking 6 cups of cold water a day, that's 48 ounces, can raise metabolism by about 50 calories per day, enough to shed 5 pounds in one year. The increase may come from the work it takes to heat the water to body temperature. First, we are referring to what's called water-induced thermogenesis. Thermogenesis refers to heat production within the body. As you might know, we measure the heat produced by the body in calories during rest. This heat produced is also known as resting energy expenditure. The unsighted German article is most likely referring to either a study done in 2003 and or a follow-up study done in 2007. In the 2003 study, participants drank 500 milliliters of water, about 16 ounces, at 71 degrees Fahrenheit. An hour later, their resting energy expenditure had increased to and spiked 30% higher than where they started. Wow, 30%. Well, the fact is, that was only about a 0.32 per minute calorie difference, which isn't much. In the 2007 study, similar results were found, but with a 24% increase after 90 minutes of drinking 16 ounces of water. The authors estimated that it took approximately 7 calories to heat the cool water over the 90 minutes in 2006, researchers revisited this idea of water-induced thermogenesis and found the following. Cooling the water before drinking only stimulates a small thermogenic response well below the theoretical energy cost of warming the water to body temperature. These results cast doubt on water as a thermogenic agent for the management of obesity. Here's a summary of studies on the subject. As you can see, there are mixed findings on water-induced thermogenesis, but the majority of the research supports little to no substantial increases in energy expenditure at rest from drinking cold water. So I say that you should keep drinking your water, cold or warm, but don't expect to ignite your body's fat-burning furnace. Any effects on weight control are likely a result of water consumption, which reduces energy intake from other foods. So what's the verdict on room temperature water ruining your metabolism? This claim is fiction.